And folks, we absolutely love to highlight young persons doing big things, whether here or abroad. Now, he was the winner of the game design category in the Jamaican leg of the Microsoft Microsoft Imagine Cup competition. Now he's heading to Seattle for the finals. Lorraine Campbell is here with the acting head of the IT department at the University College of the Caribbean, Natalie Rose. Good morning to you both. Good um, welcome to Smile Jamaica. Congrats, my friend. Um, what you won and how you found out about it and what you did, all kind of questions are for you. So what you did? Well, uh, developed a game concept in two weeks. Um, it's the concept called Project Exit. Um, which is basically a puzzle, puzzle game concept, like um, it's a crossover between 2D style game and action. When you say concept, that yeah. means you just tell them what you want to do or you did do uh, it. I thing. did it. Yeah, did yeah, it. Actually, it did yeah. Uh, yourself. Yeah. So where did that come from? You just sit down one day and say, I went to do a thing? Where did that come from? Well, yeah, <laughs> it, it was kind of like that when, when I saw the, 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 um, the, the when I saw the, the, um, the ad, yeah, the ad yeah. Board, yeah. But this is this goes back to 2013-ish. Natalie, let me bring you in here when Aurel and his classmates won a, a, another PCG um, yes. website Tell competition. me about that. Well, obviously, you have a strong department. Yes. What happened is that uh, we developed, we started the computer club in 2013, October 2013, because I saw the need the, for potential of the students. The, the students are very brilliant. They are good programmers. But there was no way, there's no avenue for them no, to okay. excel. Yeah. So I tried to appeal to the public for, you know, to get the student involved in competition. And PCG had a, a website competition. So I, I got the five best students from the IT department and said, you know what, you need to actually compete in this competition. Orain was one of those students. Mm -hmm. And... We got first place, so we actually beat UWE and UTEC. So they competed as a team or as five individuals? Team, as a team. Okay. We but had no. four males and one female. So how did Orain make it to you and another team member made it to the finals of the, well, to this stage of the, of the Imagine Cup? Yeah. Um, Super Mario Brothers inspired you? Yes. I played that game, but I could never think of developing an app to go on to another game. So yeah. from that time, you had this inclination to... Yeah, because I've, I've, I've always been a fan of the Mario franchise. So the Mario, Yoshi, as well as a few Japanese titles such as Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... So your game, is, your game is what? What, what, what are our favorite escapes, Mario, if you kill me or yeah, something? So. <laughs> it's, basically, it's just a puzzle game. So you're, you're, you're placed in a maze environment and you're tasked with finding the exit within a given time limit. So. You're given a bunch that? of obstacles. It's, I'd love to just look inside your mind and just yeah. see how the wheels turn. So you're now being mentored by somebody at Microsoft? Yes. Uh, it's a guy called Michael. Yeah, Michael. He, and what is he doing with you? Well, he gives us a bit of um, instructions now and then to guide us on the workflow of the game production. So, so we get it up to... Yeah. yeah. So in right. Seattle now you have to come up with something different? No, or no it's just to advance the game to reach... A different level. Yeah, a different level. Yeah. More you can, advanced I, level. Yeah. And you can do that? Yes, we, we can. Oh, he, he how do has, you help in all of this? Well, I actually make sure that they have their timely meeting with their mentor. And I actually help with the design, the look and feel of the system itself. You know, change like the font, change the colors and those yeah. things. So yes, I make sure that they are on how track. How confident are you that uh, I think it's we, we, right? Not you alone going. Yes, yeah, we. How, yeah. how confident I are you that we will do well? If we we work hard every single day and night, day and night, I think we have a good chance of winning. Okay. Can you imagine what would happen to you if you win? That would be very interesting. Yeah. Do you know, do you know how life too, changing yeah, that yeah, could to a be point, for you? <laughs> well, first of all, there would be companies looking to steal you because obviously uh, as a game developer, there's potential there for them to make some money off you. And if they make money off you, then you make money off yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to like win cars. You can buy your own. I just, I just give them a car. So if you, if you win, <laughs> I look alone. <laughs> you buy a new one. All right. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Fantastic. Excellent. When do you leave? Um, it's July 29th this month. All right. 
right. And how many people are you going up against? How many different countries and uh, stuff, you know? I think it's 30, 30, 35, 35 teams. teams 35 worldwide. teams, yeah. Fantastic. Team Good J.A. Luck. Good luck, yeah. Let us know. Visit when All you right. come back, okay? Yeah. Acting yeah. head of the IT department at the University College of the Caribbean, Natalie Rose, and finalist in the Microsoft Imagine Cup. Rain Campbell. Wow, Jamaicans are so awesome. All right, up next, we're going to talk to a couple of artists set to hit the reggae sumfest stage. We'll be right back with more on Smile.